Hey everybody, how we doing this fine day? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. We're going to talk about adjusting vibrance today. And um, it's basically vibrance adjusts the saturation so that um, the clipping is reduced when colors approach the full saturation. So basically what happens is it's a smart tool that increases the um, intensity of the more muted colors and leaves the already well saturated colors alone. So it prevents skin tones from becoming overly saturated and unnatural. So that's the good thing about it I like. So when I'm using something and I want the, the tones to be a lot more rich but I don't want to screw up everybody's skin tones, I use Vibrance. So we're gonna go to Image Adjustments and then we're going to go to Vibrance, which is right here at the top of the second set of, of uh, options. And it's a, another small adjustment here. It's only got two things. We got our Vibrance here. So if we uh, drag the Vibrance slide to the right, it's going to apply um, the uh, Vibrance to the less saturated colors. So let's move that to the right. Let's do this at 50. And then I'll change the preview so you can see like a difference here. Well, you can see in the one, maybe I should go up a little higher. Let's just go all the way. All right, there. Well, that's too much. There we go. So that's what the uh, Vibrance does there. So in, uh, taking it to, to the left is going to make it a little more saturated do it that way you can see it's more saturated I gotta I gotta keep the preview on when I'm doing that so you guys can see what's going on so to the left is more saturated to the right is more vibrant obviously so let's put this at zero and let's see how the saturation works out let's drag that to the right and see the difference you can see everything's becoming more saturated when you use the saturation and it's not like a smart kind of tool move to the left and you can desaturate stuff and eventually you can get to a grayscale image. So here is an example of plus 50 saturation. You see what that looks like compared to not. Let's put this to zero and put this to 50 saturation or 50 vibrance and compare and you can see it's a little bit of a smarter tool and it doesn't blast everything out. So uh, that's how uh, vibrance and saturation work. Um, not a whole lot to go over, but there you go. You can see the difference and see how they work together. So let's do something like add a little saturation and then add some vibrance as well. And preview it. And uh, you can see how like the pumpkin and the back wall and things like that become more vibrant. And these uh, letters here on his shirt and I like down here how this pumpkin is already like halfway rotted out I bet this pumpkin is going to last about like one week and then it's just gonna be a pile of flabby pumpkin on his doorstep that's probably why he's flipping everyone off so um, hopefully hopefully you guys learned something from the tutorial and I'll see you in the next one have a good one everyone